Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. It's been a very busy day today, Thursday, February 27. Uh, the stock market, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, has dropped 1,200 points, the largest single-day drop in history over COVID-19 fears. A tense situation right now between Russia and Turkey, with approximately 30 Turkish troops being killed in Russian airstrikes in Syria. Uh, the don't think that that's over, folks. That, that This is a fluid situation that I will get to at another time. But uh, also the COVID-19 spreading like wildfire and the U.S. malls using sweeping powers to ramp up production of coronavirus protective gear. Now, the Trump administration is considering invoking special powers through a law called the Defense Production Act to rapidly expand domestic manufacturing of protective masks and clothing to combat the coronavirus. Now, uh, this law was passed by Congress in 1950 at the outset of the Korean War and it marked an escalation of the administration's response to the outbreak. And uh, the law grants the president the power to expand industrial production of key materials or products for national security and other reasons. The biggest producers of face masks, for example, is uh, 3M Core and Honeywell International, Inc. Now, um, Secretary, I should say HHS Secretary Alex Azar told lawmakers this week that the U.S. needs a stockpile of about 300 million N95 face masks and also uh, gloves and body suits. So again, this is what is known as the Defense Production Act to rapidly expand domestic manufacturing. The Trump administration may put this in place. Uh, I had never heard of this until today. Uh, look into this more yourselves, folks. I will leave you a link to this. Please subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up and a share. Most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jim signing off. God bless you, and I will see you soon.